Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1659. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Level 3 1659 clearance staff are limited to interaction in the field with SCP-1659 instances. Per the terms of the Nine Mile Station Protocol, all interaction with SCP-1659 Alpha and SCP-1659 Beta instances must be conducted through recognized diplomatic channels in the Department of External Affairs. The currently recognized ambassador to SCP-1659 is Dr. Danimir Alconti. Due to the widespread nature of SCP-1659, containment is focused on suppressing public knowledge of the true purpose of activities carried out by SCP-1659 instances. Priority is to be given to activities with the greatest risk of resulting in violations of the Nine Mile Station Protocol. In keeping with protocol requirements, any non-observational research of SCP-1659 is prohibited without the express permission of the Department of External Affairs. Research staff must update the list of known SCP-1659 instances and the SCP-1659 organizational chart weekly to reflect current information. Recruiting preference for SCP-1659 personnel is to be given to those with backgrounds in sociology, political science, diplomacy, organizational theory, and culinary criticism. Description SCP-1659 is a quasi-governmental organization transcending all known political boundaries and divisions. This organization is made up of at least 315,449 individuals who possess the inherent sense that they are part of a large governing organization known to its members as Directorate K. Individuals affected by SCP-1659 demonstrate knowledge not only of the existence of this organization, but which specific subunit they belong to, and a detailed sense of their duties to be carried out as part of SCP-1659. Interviews with affected subjects suggest that this knowledge is spontaneously obtained through unknown means, usually between the ages of 17 to 32. Once a subject is affected by SCP-1659, no known means are effective in eliminating knowledge of Directorate K short of systemic neurological damage or death. Individuals from throughout the world appear to be affected by SCP-1659 at random. The organizational structure of SCP-1659 is highly complex and appears to have no overarching goal or purpose. Subunits within SCP-1659 are given titles and ostensible missions. However, the work performed by members of a designated subunit often has no discernible connection with that unit's stated purpose. Foundation researchers have documented 1,297 subunits to date. Apart from Directorate K serving as a central administering entity, the relationships of these subunits to one another is currently impossible to determine. Hierarchies appear to change regularly and reorganizations of these units happen frequently. Individuals affected by SCP-1659 frequently spend significant amounts of time at seemingly pointless tasks. Documented examples include a retired electrician identifying himself as a technician attached to the Office of Slime Mold Production, repeatedly spinning a coin on the ground at a crowded bus stop in Toronto, Canada. Three individuals claiming to work for the Inui Control Bureau traveling throughout rural southwestern Slovakia, counting any observed instances of Mus Cardenas Avalinarius, common dormouse, and text messaging the results to a phone number listed at the Japanese embassy in Lima, Peru. A 15th Vinyl Division work crew in a privately owned truck traveling to traffic intersections in various towns in Jansang Province, South Korea, cleaning signs related to pedestrian safety. Police Chief of Bolivia and confirmed SCP-1659 subject, continually building in his backyard a crude antenna structure four meters in height out of tinfoil, disassembling it and reassembling it. 
a self-described official meeting of the People's Governing Board of Gallbladder Health, consisting of a spontaneous gathering of 28 individuals in a remote region of the Mojave Desert in California, United States, culminating in the detonation of an explosive device estimated to be equivalent to 500 kilograms of TNT. Individuals affected by SCP-1659 are not compelled in any discernible manner to perform their assigned duties. However, subjects are almost always highly motivated to carry out tasks assigned by SCP-1659, and affected individuals display behavioral traits and attitudes commonly associated with organizations displaying high levels of morale and team cohesion. While observed activity of SCP-1659 subjects at the individual level appears to have no logical purpose, broader contextual analysis has revealed that SCP-1659 exhibits a profound ability to affect world commodities, market fluctuations, cultural trends, particularly those related to food, real estate development, movement of refugee populations, and to a limited extent, deployment of military assets. SCP-1659 is believed to achieve this through a combination of the sum total of the tasks its subjects carry out, its ownership stake in a collection of strategic private firms, and its placement of subjects in posts at all levels of government. In most cases, influence exercised by SCP-1659 is subtle and does not deviate significantly from general societal expectations though this is theorized to be partially attributable to SCP-1659's agreement to abide by the Nine Mile Station Protocol. An exception appears to be trends in fine dining and culinary technology, upon which SCP-1659 has exercised profound effects. Many world-renowned restaurants are either owned or financed by SCP-1659, including in Paris, France, and in Osaka, Japan, and in Catalonia, Spain. Subjects affected by SCP-1659 are present throughout the world and generally fall into three observed categories. SCP-1659 Alpha. These individuals occupy leadership positions within SCP-1659, analogous to agency directors, minor political leaders, and other high-ranking officials. Approximately 2% of SCP-1659 are classed in this manner. Members of Directorate K itself, believed to be the central authority on SCP-1659, are part of this group, and are believed to number between 100 to 120 individuals at present. SCP-1659 Beta An estimated 15% of SCP-1659 instances belong to this class. These individuals tend to be tasked with duties resembling those of a mid-level official, and are usually supervisory or quasi-independent in nature. Many individuals in this group hold positions of authority in established governments at all levels throughout the world. Former Prime Minister of Gambia, before being removed by Foundation operatives in the wake of Incident 1659A, MIKE, is believed to have been one of these individuals. SCP-1659 Gamma The vast majority of SCP-1659 fall under this classification. These individuals perform tasks associated with various subunits of SCP-1659 and are thus the most likely to come to the attention of Foundation assets. While SCP-1659 Gamma instances are drawn from a wide array of sources, a high proportion of these individuals are transients, inmates at penal or mental health institutions, or others that traditionally live outside mainstream society. The ultimate strategic aims or goals of SCP-1659, if any exist, are unknown at this time. Addendum 1659-A Summary of Nine Mile Station Protocol Foundation researchers discovered SCP-1659 in 1983 after an investigation into reports of 17 unaffiliated individuals chasing stray dogs through the streets of Budapest, Hungary, with brooms, mops, and various cleaning implements. These reports coincided with a Soviet Union-organized economic conference 
occurring in the city at the same time. From 1983 to 1997, field research was conducted through standard clandestine means, yielding information suggesting that the scope of SCP-1659 and its potential effects on established society rendered it inherently uncontainable. SCP-1659 was accordingly classified Keter and assigned slot 14 on the Prioritized Threat Register. Given the nature of SCP-1659, Research Director Franz H. Ambrose attempted to establish formal diplomatic relations with SCP-1659. On September 1, 1998, a letter was received at the address established by Dr. Ambrose for official contacts, purporting to be from the Directorate K. Null Consulate. The letter stated that SCP-1659's acceptance of an invitation to discuss formal relations between it and the Foundation, and a summit was scheduled for later that year. On December 18, 1998, Dr. Ambrose and a Foundation negotiations team arrived at the abandoned settlement of Nine Mile Station, California, United States, per instructions from SCP-1659. The reason stated for the location being, we're thinking of building a restaurant here, and met with Miss Valentina Laconi, an SCP-1659 subject documented by researchers as being a bicycle mechanic residing in Scampia, Italy. Miss Laconi presented herself as Null Consulate, charge a demission for Foundation Affairs, and was the only 1659 subject present. Ms. Laconi proved extensively knowledgeable in the practices of international diplomacy and demonstrated her position within SCP-1659 by ordering several SCP-1659 subunits in specified locations to perform tasks requested by the Foundation delegation. Over the next few days, the Foundation delegation and Ms. Laconi discussed terms for the voluntary entry of SCP-1659 into containment. Agreement was reached on December 22, 1998, and was formally ratified soon afterward as the Nine Mile Station Protocol by Overwatch Command and Directorate K itself, which delivered its copy of the protocol signed by 19 codenamed individuals via Borough Mounted Messenger to a pre-designated Foundation facility in Guadalajara, Mexico. Stated Goals of the Signatory Parties the preamble to the Nine Mile Station Protocol states that the Foundation's and SCP-1659's mutual desire for preserving a rational consensus reality for human civilization. While stating that the aims of the Foundation and SCP-1659 are different, a commonality of purpose sufficient for a formal organized agreement is cited as the basis for the Protocol. Requirements on SCP-1659 under the protocol, SCP-1659 is not to engage in any activity that may alert any individuals or organizations not under its influence to its existence. SCP-1659 is not to engage in any activity causing extensive property damage or loss of life, except in predefined circumstances of self-defense, which must promptly be reported to Foundation personnel. SCP-1659 must limit its total number of affected individuals to less than 0.1% of the estimated world population at any given time. SCP-1659 may not designate Foundation personnel as members of its organization. Requirements on the Foundation Foundation researchers are permitted to observe and document all activities conducted by SCP-1659 Gamma individuals. Foundation researchers are not permitted to interfere with such activities unless a breach of protocol requirements is reasonably judged to be imminent. Foundation staff may transport SCP-1659 affected individuals to Foundation facilities for examination and interview subject to permission of the Null Consulate and in accordance with Directorate K guidelines. No fewer than 30 individuals per annum are to be made available to the Foundation for this purpose. The Foundation may not harm, coerce, intimidate, or otherwise interfere unduly with any SCP-1659 subject 
unless self-defense expectations are present. Requirements on both signatories. The provisions of the Nine Mile Station Protocol must be reviewed by a delegation from both signatories at a triannual conference located in neutral territory. Amendments may be made to the protocol subject to approval by both signatories. Neither signatory may be required to reveal information regarding total strategic and tactical assets, personnel levels, or high-level policy to the other. As of the time of this report, no violations of the Nine Mile Station Protocol by SCP-1659 have been observed. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Anvil, Zargaran, Professor Puffer, Ritalius, Givios the Hollow, Zazapan, Jordan C. Wild, Lemke, Dr. Briggs, Tailored Printers, Perpetually Confused Meat Mac Pilot, Signar, Kai Lacks Empathy, Alatreon, Your Local Foundation Agent, Derivative, Gabriel Hawkins, Nate the Clown, Lost Boy, A Real American Hebrew, Sio Diodemnatus, The Morrigan, and James Saba. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash the Vulgan. Thank you.